Hello there, Lushu. I have an important task for you. A long, long ass time ago, all the worlds were one. The Master of Masters, who can see into the future, took on six apprentices. Five were given the Book of Prophecies, and were told that they would fulfill various roles in case, and by that he means most definitely, vanished one day. He prophesied that darkness would come and there would be a great war where darkness would be victorious. And he told them that they couldn't change this, but they needed to focus on keeping the light safe and whole for what comes afterwards. So, when he disappeared, he left Ira as the new leader, Envy watching over the others, Acid to support Ira, Ava to get Keyblade users who would protect and influence the world after Darkness Fall, Gula who was to uncover the mysteries of the Book of Prophecies, and his first apprentice, Lushu, to watch the rest from afar and then fuck off to parts unknown. So as prophesized, he vanished, and they created their own unions to fight the darkness with Keyblades. But one day, they discover there is a traitor. They discovered there was a traitor, and that someone was snooping around with a nightmare, a corrupted form of the spirits that Master had given them to help them. They discuss things amongst themselves, say it could be anyone, but Ira thinks that it has to be one of the Masters. Unfortunately, this just means that everyone ends up distressing everyone, Ased claims that Ira is a terrible leader, Ava does a sad, and Ira and Envy, when alone, learn that there is a page missing from the Book of Prophecies, and that Ira thinks that someone has it and that person is the traitor. But Envy points out that maybe, perhaps, someone has the page because the Master gave it to them. Someone who perhaps is investigating the secrets of the Book of Prophecy, and that is literally their one job. Anyways, Envy leaves, but not before making an alliance, which we later learn is strictly prohibited by the Master. So we get a flashback where our Master basically tells Envy, hey, you are to absorb the others and be the mediator, because one day I'm gonna fucking leave. And then he basically goes, yeah, you know what, trust your heart, do what you think is right. So we time skip a few days, and we get to a meeting with Ased, Gula, and Abba. And Ased thinks there's no traitor because, you know, they're all good guys, they're all friends. And Gula is like, yeah, that argument was bad and it just made us distrust each other and there's no proof that there's a traitor. Ava is like, maybe they know something we don't and that's why they think is a traitor. Which Ased is like, but friendship! And Gula is like, but I don't, I'm not friends with any of you or colleagues. And then Ased is like, there is darkness, but no traitor, and we should make an alliance. But Ava, poor little Ava, is like, no, mom told us not to. But Master is gone, he's not here anymore. And then Gula is like, you know what, if the alliance is between just us two and not our unions, I'm good for it. This is just a two-person alliance. And then Envy comes along, and it's like, hey, what's going on here? And Ossed goes, yeah, me and Gula, we made an alliance between our unions. And Gula's like, the fuck? No, I, no, we didn't. It was just between us two. I literally just said that not even three seconds ago, bruh. Envy's like, no, you know, mom forbid it. Absolutely not. And you know what? Since you're breaking those rules, maybe you're the traitor, even though literally a few minutes ago, she made an alliance with Ira. It's like, the fuck? Ossed is like, but... You're a spy for Ira, so maybe you're the darkness. And then she's like, no, you're dark, he, you're dark. And they just have this little bitch fight. And it's like on the level of children. So anyways, this ends with like everyone leaving, everyone being mad at each other. Envy and Ossed are basically just hate each other. Then we see Ava alone, and he talks to some kid about how, like, you know, maybe the alliances should work together instead of, like, competing. And the kid's like, yeah, I made a friend with someone from another, you know, ally uh, union. And she's like, that's great. And maybe with kids like this, the future will be bright. And this is an incredibly stupid thing to say, and incredibly hypocritical of her, considering what her job is, which we learn later. Hey, you're uh, my alliance buddy. I found out the Gula made an alliance with Ossed. I mean, the other way around. Fuck me, I can't words. And, you know, he's like, okay, we found our traitor. 
No, he's just making this alliance to combat the darkness. Also, we made an alliance before them, so that would incriminate us, you fucking moron. So then a few months pass, and Gula is like, Alright, I'm done, nothing's been happening, Envy was right, I'm out of the alliance. And Osset is like, but wait! We need to prepare for the coming darkness! Wait, what was that about, Envy? And then this motherfucker, in the sketchiest voice possible, goes, Oh no, I shouldn't have mentioned Envy. Osset is like, you know, just frothing at the mouth, picks him up and like, You told Envy? And he's like, first of all, say it, don't spray it. Second of all, she was right, and this has accomplished nothing, so I'm out. But we haven't found the traitor, because apparently he believes there's a traitor now, despite being very vocal about the fact that there wasn't a traitor. Yeah, but I'm still out, we haven't found anything, and then Austin, like, stares up into the sky and screams envy at the top of his lungs. So then we get a flashback to Assad, and he goes to the Master, and the Master is like, Yo, what are you doing here? And he's like, You called me! And then, you know, the Master of Masters is like, That's great, that's fine, you're right. So, um, Ira's gonna be the new leader, and you're gonna be the right-hand man. And he's like, wait, no, no, why not, why? And he's like, oh, because I'm gonna disappear one day. And he's like, oh, did you want to be the leader? And literally, like, laughs in his face, because it's like, Osset is not good leader material in any world. You're gonna be his right-hand man. Ira's a thinker, not a doer, and you need to, you know, help spurn him on into doing things. It goes back to pre present day, and Osset is like, Time to fulfill my more role. And he immediately jumps to performing extreme amounts of violence on Envy. And it's like, Get out of my way! And she's like, Dude, chill. And then he's like, frothing at the mouth, screaming about how the master's not here and we need to stop the apocalypse. And Gula is watching in the corner, being shady as shit. Like, holy shit, Asset has fucking lost it. And then Ava reminds everyone that she exists, and Gula's basically like, come see this shit, sh sick shit out. And Ava is like, why are you fighting? Why are we doing this? And Envy's like, Ased is the traitor. And Ased, instead of putting his weapon down and being like, look, and trying to explain things like a rational human being, decides that the best explanation to explain that he's not a traitor is to inflict unimaginable violence against his fellow three key Blade Master teacher people. So then we have a flash flashback to Gula, where the Master of Masters is like, here's a book for the Book of Prophecies missing from the- that's not in your books. Here's a page, I mean. And then he's like, oh, cool. Oh no, it says there's a traitor in here. Yep. And then Gula's like, oh, that's why you gave us all different jobs, and it's not in the book, because if someone acts like a traitor, then that means that I can just see if nobody's doing anything and find them. And apparently the only thing this says about the traitor, it's the one who bears the sigil. So, you know, we get back to the present day, and Gula is, like, talking to Osset. He finds him after their three-way battle, presumably, and Osset is super injured, and he's like, Do you know what my job is? The master gave me an extra page that says there's a traitor, and I was to hide the fact that this page exists until the time came so I can figure out who the traitor is. And I think it's you. And then Osset loses his shit, because it's like, You knew there was a traitor and you didn't tell us? I called you my friend! And I'm blah, 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 blah. Whereas Gula is like, I just told you straight to your face multiple times that I, I'm not friends. Like, I've said, like, I trust no one, not even myself. I mean, only myself. And it is literally my job to keep this secret and to figure out who the traitor is. And I think you, and at that point he gets interrupted because Osset is, like, frothing at the mouth and decides the best way to prove himself not to be a traitor is to inflict more unimaginable violence. So then Ava, you know, reminds us that she exists again. She comes over, she sees that Osset is about to murk Gula, and she's like, no, don't hurt him! And Osset is like, okay, I won't hurt him, but I'm gonna be a little bitch about it and sulk and run away. And then we go to this scene where it's like Osset limping, and then Ira finds him, and he's like, well, are you gonna kill me? And Ira's just like, no, because we can't afford to you lose any more light wielders, and you're my brother. And they have this, like, what the f fuck bro moment like it's like you literally thought this man was the traitor not even five fucking months ago and now you've decided that he is still your brother and best friend and they're and then you know Osset's like oh by the way Gula has this thing called the lost page and he's like wait what and it's like yeah Gula has this lost page and he says that it's his job from the master but he kept it from us and he kept it a secret and I don't like that and therefore I think he's the traitor despite the fact that it was his one job. You know, another time skip, 
And Ava is like, why did you tell Ira where we were? It's literally the only way he could have found out. And Envy is like, you're one to talk. You've been, you know, poaching the best and brightest Keyblade wielders and training them in secret. And she's like, because that's my job. That's what mom told me. And she's like, oh no, I'm so sorry. Also, what did Ira want? And, you know, it's like, yeah, he was, you know, looking at me with like a face and a raging murder boner that I was afraid would hit me when he turned around asking where Gula was, so I told him to, that I didn't know anything, and she's like, awesome. Also, where's Gula? And then she's like, oh, Gula left after telling him his plan to summon Kingdom Hearts, something that is probably very important since it's the title of the entire series, but they're not going to explain and assume you already know despite the fact that this is a prequel to the entire fucking series and thus has left this one dipshit Mexican confused as shit trying to figure out you know why this is such a big deal because since this was a prequel to the entire series he thought that would be a fantastic you know starting on point it's not don't do this to yourself but anyways summon Kingdom Hearts and she's like I decided not to help him because that's stupid mom told us not to and yeah let's not do that and then Envy's like right that's why he's probably off gathering Lux, which is a resource that, I don't know, is basically light, I'm guessing. I say I guess because it's probably only explained into the browser game that this movie is like a companion slash based off of. Unfortunately, Square Enix took that behind the shed and put it down back in 2016, so who knows? But anyway, she's like, oh yeah, he's probably gathering Lux, which, you know, the other two have been doing, which is going to lead to an imbalance, which is going to lead to infighting, which is going to lead to the Great Keyblade War prophesized in the Book of Prophecies, which is going to lead to darkness winning and falling over the entire world. And then Ava is like, oh no, what can we do? And then Envy goes, yeah, we should start gathering Lux too. And it's like, wait, what? It isn't, isn't the whole gathering Lux and you know, deepening the con competition between our unions, what's going to lead to the Keyblade War and lead to Darkness Winning. Yeah, but this train is too late to stop. Like, we passed the line, you know, literal months, perhaps even years ago at this point. We might as well just keep going and see how big of a bang we can go out on. All right, see ya, Ava. And Ava's just left there, like, what the fuck? And then we get a flashback to Ava, where the Master of Masters is like, yep, you are all fucked. And Ava's like, wait, what? And it's like, first of all, you know, you're adorable. Second of all, yeah, nothing's gonna change. What's happening in this book is going to happen, so I'm gonna need you to pick and choose the best of the best, and then give them a secret mission that when the Keyblade War kicks off, they're all to run around like huge cowards. Just get out of there and go to different worlds and to make sure the light does not go anywhere. And she's like, okay. Also, I'm not going to put anything in the Book of Prophecies. I'm not going to make like an extra page, which I proved that I can do with a lost page and give it to you in like a list or guidelines of what you need. I'm literally just going to trust you to pick and choose who lives and who dies. Your job is to literally pick and choose who lives and who dies. And she makes the and she's like, uh you know, go to the present day, where Ava is giving a big speech about how there's going to be a war, and nobody's going to win, everyone is going to lose, darkness is going to prevail, and the job of all of these people is to abandon their friends and family and fuck off and run away like huge cowards. Super. Then we go back to the beginning of the movie, where the master is talking to Lushu, and he's like, yeah, look at this awesome keyblade. It has no name, and Lucio is like, okay, that obviously means that the Keyblade's name is literally no name. Also, this eye is kind of creepy. And then the Master is like, dude, don't be like that, that's my eye. And Lucio is even more creeped out because holy shit, there's a human eye in this thing. Or whatever the fuck the Master of Master is. Like, the Master of Masters, we never see him, we don't know what exactly he is. We know that Keyblade wielders can be fucking cartoon mice, so who the fuck knows. But yeah, he's like, that's my eye. And I need you to take this and give it to your apprentice and give it to your apprentice's apprentice and, you know, just continue doing that so that my eye can see into the future. And Lucius like, oh, that's how you make the Book of Prophecies, because you've been seeing into the future through this Keyblade. And he's like, yep. Also, I'm not going to give you one. You're going to have to do it alone because I don't want to prevent any time paradoxes. Also, you've done a good job since the Book of Prophecies exists. 
you know, hooray! So yeah, your job, take that, look into the future, give that to your apprentice, also take this box, and don't look into it, don't open it, don't just ignore the, take the box, but don't think about it. And he's like, I now I, I'm thinking about the box. And he's like, okay, see, here's what's in the box, I'm gonna whisper the secret to you, as long as you promise to never open it, this box with the emblem of the entire series, some may call it a sigil, you know? You know, sigil, callback, lost page, the traitor is the one who bears the sigil. I'm not saying he's a traitor, but you know how, you know how, you know, Kingdom Hearts, it, it, there's a certain character that has a certain keyblade, and who knows? But anyways, never open the box, go forward, and yeah, that's your job. And thus... After a amount of time, after the master disappeared and he saw that how things were going, he fucked off to parts unknown. All the Keybladers engaged into this big, giant war, which led to horrible losses and the death of almost all Keybladers except the best and brightest, which left and ran away like cowards, which probably prolonged the war since now all of the, like, lesser trained and, like, unskilled Keyblade wielders were playing in the war, were fighting in the war, so that probably led to a lot of, like, injuries and, like, horribleness. And basically, yeah, the war was shit. And then... Yeah, that's the end. Who's the traitor? We don't know. I have an idea, though. You know, the one who bears the sigil. There's a box with a sigil. I don't know how more I can spill it out for you, but, like, considering how Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep goes, which is next, we're going to talk about that next, but I think I know who the traitor is. But anyways, that's besides the point. The point being is that that's the end of the story, and that's it, and we don't learn who the traitor is. We don't learn how the Keyblade War ends. Actually, there was a way. I'm pretty sure that's what the browser free-to-play browser game was about. But, like I said earlier, Square Enix took it behind the shed and put it down in 2016, so who knows how that went? We don't know. I don't know. I can't tell. There's this, you know, little cinematic at the beginning of a story, which I think is supposed to tell you what goes on in that story, but... Look at it. Look at what, what does this mean? What is this saying? How am I supposed to pay attention? What are you trying to show me? But yeah, that's besides the point. The point being is this is the beginning of the Kingdom Hearts story. And I'm going to go through the entire goddamn thing in chronological order according to in-game chronologically. Oh god fucking help me. And if you want to help me, check out my Patreon. That's right, I'm starting a Patreon to do this mess because if I have to suffer, you can at least pay me for it. Also because, like, I, the hours I work at my work are decided by a random number generator, and I might not actually be able to afford rent in a couple days in a, the coming months, so... Hey, if you want to help feed me and make these videos, that would be great. Also, I have a coffee if you want to do a one-time donation. Like, comment, and subscribe. And you, there's also a button if you dislike the video. Just do all that. Also, if you like the noises that are allegedly music in the background... I made those. I'm sorry. But if you want to torture yourself by listening to them, my Spotify is down below. Anyway, and also my Bandcamp if you want to buy them for whatever reason. They're pay what you want, including free, but that's limited to like 200 downloads because Bandcamp says so. Until I get like, make a amount of money that I'm not going to make, so don't worry about it. If you watch this video, you can probably get my entire discography for free, so go ahead and do that. But anyways... My name has been Juan John John. This has been a brief summary of the first Kingdom Hearts thing. And yeah, I will see you all with the beginning of Birth by Sleep. Oh god, this is going to be a fucking train wreck, I can already tell.